the idea behind genome would be that that's essentially the one genetic test you really need to do. With genome sequencing, you're covering all the known human genome with very few exceptions, and that allows for you to look at basically all causes of a genetic disorder in a single test. This is a hospital that supports a level three neonatal intensive care unit. We're also at a very large research institute and we are seeing very acutely ill babies. For acute patients, we need a quick diagnosis. Diagnosis, it's the thing that makes the difference. And so what we're trying to do is, how can we help find a diagnosis? And so now we can get answers back to families quickly. Before, when we would do genetic testing, it would typically take between four and six weeks of time. Now we're able to get a underlying genetic diagnosis within the first week of life. We've been able to contribute at least to the diagnosis, not just of that infant, but also of other family members. The earlier that knowledge is provided to the family, the better. The bus home. It's pretty exciting to be able to find the causative variant as quickly as we do in these patients and then give them closure for what is actually causing the disease in the family and what that natural progression of the disease looks like. Knowing what to expect in the future is critical. Like a year from now, do they need to do a certain tests? Five years from now, will their child be in school? These are the kind of things that a diagnosis can help them with. It also provides the family and the patient with the community especially for rare diseases, they can reach out to people, someone in Australia or someone in Germany who has the same diagnosis. That sounds good. Maybe you could explain that. The reason that this project is so successful is because we have a multidisciplinary team. The key piece is the collaboration. These are efforts that require the expertise across different, different areas. And this project actually we will do sequencing, at ARUP for the whole genome sequencing. The data has been sent to UGCD. We have lots of very talented scientists that do data analysis. The analysis portion of whole genome sequencing is the most labor intensive piece of this entire process. We're talking hundreds of thousands of variants that, that show up in a personal genome, but they're not all causative for disease. So what you are trying to do using AI and other tools for data analysis is cut down on the list of variants that you're actually looking at so that it's a more manageable way to interpret a genome. And also we can use some more bioinformatic tool to develop preset, like filter processing. Now I feel like at least that I can do a whole genome. It's about as similar as exome sequencing. We're starting to see more and more clinicians adopt the use of whole genome sequencing because they are reading studies showing that there's increased diagnostic yield. It makes a lot more sense, especially for a child in the NICU who has a genetic phenotype, but it's not very specific for one specific disorder, to order a genome because the likelihood of finding a diagnosis is much higher than it is from ordering a targeted panel. It also allows us as a clinician to change what our expectations are in our management of that patient so that we know what their individual goals are going to be to be able to leave the hospital. So we're seeing a decreased length of stay. This technology is new, but in fact the answers are very clear and it's not a complicated thing to do. Like it happens and you get answers and you're like, whoa, like why weren't we doing this like a year ago? Next Generation Sequencing um, has really allowed for us to overcome the hurdle of these diagnostic odysseys and really put a name to the disorders that patients are suffering from. When we're looking at the most vulnerable, having the ability to offer the latest technology becomes a moral imperative. Transitioning to whole genome sequencing allows us to feel like no rock is going unturned. And even if you can't provide an answer, being able to tell these family that you've done everything feasible uh, and everything possible, I think it's important. Clinicians should just go to the best test first. It shouldn't be a point of question. It should be like the standard of care for how people are taken care of.